Hello everyone, welcome to the first Lord's Mobile video of the year. Now I know you guys probably are wondering if I can go to video before the other video, but I did, I mean, uh, after I posted that other video and it's not get done yet, but I want to get this information out as far as I can understand it and want to break it down for you because it has been quite a while since this update has been out. Now this update I'm talking about is the King Labor's update, that's what I'm calling it right now. But it's the update that releases this new techno blade uh, technology that's given to us as free players and as well as pay to play players with getting more bonuses. So pretty much what this is, is a sort of battle pass that lets you collect set, um, set rewards and they have their own uses which I'll be going down into them a little in a little bit. So pretty much as a battle pass, as any other game that has a battle pass, there's a free point of it and there's a pay portion of it. Uh, the paid portion of it seems to be a five dollar first time payment. The next time you want to get it, you have to be doing. Uh, you get. It, you will need to get a discount card for it to be a five dollars again. In order to get a discount card, you will just need to complete more of the rewards. Down the line, when you actually buy the unlocked, you get another pass. So you will technically be able to purchase this five 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 dollars every week as long as you consider or continue getting it. But of course, I mean every month that is not. A, it's not a weekly thing. It's a month thing. Now, how do you make points? Points you get up through here through the labor tab. On the labor tab, you get a total of eight uh, quests per week, as we can see here. Now, each quest, I mean, each, I don't know if each person has different quests, I'm pretty sure we don't. I'm pretty sure we share the same ones. Right here, we have two timely quests. Now, the reason these are timely is because they only, you can only do them for a certain amount of time. Like this always hit one phantom, and the phantom event already finished. So, you did not hit a single phantom when the phantoms were out. You did not receive this. Uh, 220 points as well as the, as the gem low ones you did not any use any dark essence during the event during the gem event that the dark essence was giving guaranteed gems then you did not get these points as well now these are a total of 440 points which is a total of four rewards since you get one reward every 100 points of course, so what I want to go do, I want to go over explaining exactly how to do each one of these because each of them are a little weird on wording sometimes. So it really depends on how you want to, uh, how you understand it. So let's go with the easy ones. Heal 5,000 troops. That's easy. You just do darkness. If you don't want to be attacking PvP, you want, you're going to be PvP, you just heal your one day and while voila, you finish this one. You get a total of 130 points. Uh, right here, ta uh, tap your hero uh, with the hero page. It literally tells you how to do it uh, to make emoji bubbles appear. And once you do it, it will come out with notification. You know when you complete a Guildfest quest, how a notification comes out telling you that you have completed your Guildfest quest. So this is pretty much the same thing. You're just gonna go to your hero, keep tapping it until you get that notification and you have not completed the quest before. But once you do, that's an easy 80 points just for going and click. The other super easy one is gather. 5.1 million resources. You have a whole week to gather, so even if you're a small player, you still have a chance of gathering this much. If you want some tips or word of advice, I would say gather from high level tiles, uh, food tiles, like that because that's the one that you gather the fastest. If you need to speed run this quest in one day and you don't, and you're not that well and versed in troops and in research for gathering. The other one. Uh, that's super easy is this increase your total of might of 554,000 just increase your might by training troops completing research upgrading buildings or collecting quests uh, that'll be your regular quest not your admin or the quest now this one took me a while to understand because i wasn't really reading it completely just consume any 50 items from the bag now the thing is it has it, the second line which was something i missed was chess category so this pretty much means open 50 of any of your chest. This could be the 50 for the uh, hero armor armor chest, uh, the, the gear chest, the ones you get from hunting level 1s, level 2s, you can open those. You can also open jewel chests, you can also open materials chests. Any chest that you have under the chest tab, and what I mean by chest tab is if you go to your bag, there's, I, I know right, chest tab. So any of these chests, you just open 50 of them, and voila, you have, you complete the quest. Now the other one that might be a little more complicated depending on how active you are but with this one earn 400 AP from daily quest now the 400 AP is the daily quest that we get here from the same tab right here under daily so this is the for the AP you need to collect now you need to get 400 AP which is total of about four complete days or five if you don't complete it every single day 
Well, you pretty much uh, at the beginning of the day, you can just send out your gatherers for one of each tile since you only, since you need to gather that, and that's a total of twenty five points right there. Then you do the basic other stuff that you will do to keep track of your account, and you're easily be able to complete this quest uh, within two hours. Well, complete your dailies within an hour of playing in the day. Now, why do we want to do this? Well, as you can see, you got free stuff. Sure, you get uh, as a prepare, you get a free one hour speed up, then 800,000 gold. Then you get this cute, this weird little thing called Techno Blades. But uh, Techno Lab. Okay. Techno I don't know how to pronounce it. As you can see, I already have seven from just completing the dailies. I haven't purchased the pack and I don't plan to purchase because I don't want to spend any money on this freaking game. So, but how these work? So as you can see here, it says, use to complete a research project immediately for free. Note, archaic tones are still required. So what exactly do you mean? Do you just need one completed quest, a, a research? And event points will also not be rewarded for research complete with technology. So technically, you cannot, be using, you cannot use this for any of your hell event quests that you want to complete. But it's still pretty nice that you're able, actually able to complete quests with them. But how much do you actually need? Now for that, I wanted to I wanted to go search on a small research. I want to do a tax breaker level five. This is a research that takes a total of ten days, and with this, I can complete with only one techno blade. Now, something you will need to know: if you complete with a te with a techno level, oh techno label, techno lab, I don't know techno lab. Um, you do not require to provide the resources for it. The other thing is each research is not just one day uh one of those units we have had to go for a longer research this research alone is 143 days you require eight technology how many technology you need per amount of time i do not know at this very moment since it is very random on research times uh i do not know if, actually let's set that up it will change right now to utility uh, research and put on uh, uh, oh. I have energy to use sorry this is gonna take me a second come on this is the one thing uh what happens when you change between simulator and phone it will not keep your lineup safe so that's marching so then let's change this to research now we go back to that same research which was a total of 140 some days was it here the research time dropped to 61 days but the technology did not change so there's a fixed amount depending on the research and level no, no matter what kind of um uh, no, no matter how much you reduce the time that it requires so that is something new to know so no matter what each research is already dedicated has its own dedicated amount now this is very good because let uh, as a free-to-play player throughout the whole month in a period of 30 days you have the chance of collecting a total of seven let's see how many more you can get seven we have uh, three more so 10 uh, 14 20 uh, no, 18 uh, 23, 28, uh, 28, then that becomes 33, 40. So we, we can collect a total of 40 per day, um, 40 per month, which is insane. Now, you want to know how insane that is? In a month, you're able to complete one of these research and then have some technologies left over. Now, how big is this research are, are we thinking? Well, if I wanted to, this research has been going on for the last uh, three guildfests, so about set six, seven weeks that it's been up, uh, already researching. And so that's 79 days left on it. So I have to wait for three more months, or two more months in some, or I can use speed ups on it, which I don't want to use at the moment. But if I just want to completely finish it off straight up, I need 21 technologies. So in a period of a month, I'm able to complete two of these researches well, close to two of these researches for free for absolutely free for just completing the daily missions this is how 
groundbreaking this is. This is the this is the update that's making me want to come back to the game. Because you're able to use the technologies to complete three, uh, one year of research every month. Now, what do you mean one year of research? Um, right here, it's 171 days, and you saw already putting my my gear. I already put my talents. I was missing to put on a boost and ask for a title for research boost. And it still wouldn't be 150 days. After all the helps going, uh, this research comes down to 154 days, uh, if I remember correctly, from my experience on the other three research because they take the same amount of time. Which means completing two of these after all helps is a total of 308 days, almost a year. Of course, shy by like 50 some days, right? But people consider a year by 300. So if we consider base time, it's over a, over a year. But I'm going to complete two of these, or I'm close to completing two of these every month just for doing the, the tasks they, they tell me to do. So because of this, I am more ready to actually come back to the game. So I will be coming back to the game and doing more war rallies. I'm, I'm going to be joining up again with my uh, my friends. Uh, right now, they changed their name to USO. I, for, I forgot what it stands for, but um, I think it's like Gear Zero or something like that. Uh, so this update is what's really bringing me over because it's a very friendly free, free to play update. Now, what's even better is you want to actually drop money on the game little by little. Buying the boost or the gold pass is just amazing because you get an additional 80 technologies, you get 30 archaic tomes for five dollars. Okay, whatever, archaic tomes, small number, some speed ups, whatever, but you get 80. That's two years worth of research right there for five dollars. No pack in the game gives you two years worth of research or speed ups. What's next? You also get the additional. Oh, uh, let's do the math for it. Let's go to the very beginning. Four, eight, uh, fourteen, twenty, twenty-eight, uh, thirty-six. 46, 56, 66, 80 additional um, technologies. Now, of course, I do not know if, uh, actually, no, I think that's how much you unlock, actually. My bad, that's on me. You get an additional 80. So, selling, so you're getting a total of a year and a half worth of, no, three years worth of research for $5. Plus, if you make any extra points by completing all the labors and completing them com uh, completely every month, every week, you're gonna get a bonus of resources for every 100 that goes over, and a bonus of speed ups for every 100 that goes over. Now, of course, the speed ups is small, but as you can see on the first one, I went 400 over, so we, I'm seeing about 1200 that we're gonna be going over at the end of the month if we complete all labors. So we have 12 of these resources. So that's one, uh, one billion of each. And we have 12 of these speed ups, which is 12 one hour speed ups for research, 12 one hour speed ups for training, 24 10 minute speed ups, 24 training, and then 121 minute speed ups, which is they pretty much add up because they help you out to speed up some other stuff on another basis. Of course, this does seem to be a monthly progress that will be coming out. And oh yeah, you can just see like this is what you're getting for free already. You're getting 15 archaic tomes. So this is a very awesome free to play update. I do not know if anything new else came out with it, but uh this I just know this my hype made me go a little bit over uh the time that I usually like to go. But it's gonna be 30 minute video. I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you watch the previous video about the ch channels coming the changes coming to the channel so I can get your feedback and I catch you on the next one. Peace.